Too fun. What's it like to get a phone call from him and get that invite? What was that like? Oh, it's always fun to get a phone call from, from Coach Spurrier. He's because uh, he always has. Uh, if he's calling, he's got something to say, something to talk about. Um, and it's usually pretty funny, but yeah, that was that was actually a, a neat call. Uh, I think back in the summer, I mean, he just just called and wanted to. He, he was just like, "Yeah, I got this Hall of Fame thing, you know. I really want him, you know, want him Hall of just a little Hall of Fame thing, you know, just that little dinner." <laughs> and uh, he's talking about the night before the actual event, he was going to have a little dinner and want to invite some people. So I was I was real honored that he wanted Kath and I to come and. And uh, so look forward to that. Coach, how was practice today, and uh, how does Van Smith look? It's good. He made a little progress today. Uh, he made some progress, so he's getting a little bit better. It's one of those things he's going just a little sore, but very stable. And uh, it's not anything he's got to have surgery on or anything like that. It's just it's just just a little soreness that he's working through, but he's getting a little better. He's going to get better each day. And then um, um, practice-wise, it was good. You know, guys were. Guys were focused. It was a good work day for us, and, and uh, had a little two-minute competitive drill into practice. So they're 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 locked in and getting ready. They're excited about the opportunity. You know, it's going to be a big challenge. You still call Van questionable then? Would you still list it that way? Uh, yeah. I, I guess I, I don't, what is what are the what are my levels? What am I allowed? <laughs> Probable, questionable, I'd doubtful. Say, I'd say he's questionable. Okay. I'd say he's questionable. Uh, if if he's not 100% at game time, how confident are you and Kayvon uh, and the others to, to be able to step up? Well, they, you know they gotten a lot of reps and a lot of practice. If, if, uh, if that's got to, if that's the case, you know, uh, be ready to play. Good players, I'll recruit them. And, Excited for the opportunity, and hopefully Van will be able to go for us. How about Denzel? How how he do? He he looks good. I think he's going. I think he's going to be able to be able to go. He's Other, probable. He's probable. <laughs> <laughs> and otherwise, generally healthy. Everybody yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We we were fortunate. You know, we played a lot of guys and came through it pretty good shape uh, last week. Speaking of playing a lot of guys on Saturday. Uh, Amari and T looked really good. How confident are you in, in a game like this where the, the margin for error is so much less? Uh, how, how confident are you to be able to, to play in that type of environment? Well, I mean, I remember throwing Tyler Grisham out there in triple overtime versus Miami. I thought I was going to vomit on the sideline. Uh, you know, so you got to trust those guys. If they put the work in, if they practiced well, uh, you know, you, 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 they're here to play if you need them now. Uh, you're not going to just play them to play them. You're going to make sure you got the best guys in the best situation. And you know we've got some experienced guys. They're still young guys learning, but but uh, I mean they're just going to get better and better every rep they get. But I, I trust them. Uh, I think you got to be smart with with uh, your plan uh, week in and week out, making sure that they're really dialed in and comfortable with the details. But uh, those guys will those guys will be just fine. What makes that place over there across the street so special in a night game? And is there one memory out of all the night games that maybe stands out over any other? Oh man, uh, there's been a lot of good ones. Uh, 14 years, I've been I've been in some good ones, uh, some unbelievable night games along the, along the way. I mean, certainly the the uh, Notre Dame game. I mean, uh, we've got a hurricane uh, <laughs> coming up, but um, that was a one I'll never forget, you know, because it was it was a, a lot of emotion involved in that game, a long layoff, and played them in forever, playing Notre Dame, you know, that was that was pretty special. Georgia, I mean, there's been a lot of, I mean, they're all special to me. I mean, they really are. Anytime we get to play, we get seven chances to play in that stadium, and, and it's just it's just such a privilege, and uh, it, it really is. I mean, it is it is special to be able to go and, and, and play in Death Valley, and uh, but you know, night game just is just a little a little. Uh, whipped cream on top, if you will. Just, just the place comes alive, and, and uh, you know it's just a, it's just fun. I know our fans enjoy it, and uh, and we love we love playing under the lights when we get that opportunity. How much, is, how nice is it to have those on a regular basis from a recruiting standpoint? Uh, you know the the, the noon games are, are fun. I love noon games as a coach because uh, as a coach, you know, we, we our schedule is always the same on Sundays. It doesn't matter if we play it noon or midnight, uh, it's always the same. We've got the same amount of work to do, same same routine. So as coaches, we love noon games because we get opportunity to go home on Saturday night, be with our family, uh, you know, have a little bit of a moment to catch your breath. Uh, uh, 3.30 games and beyond are better for recruiting uh, because you have more, it's just, you know, it's, it's hard to get into Clemson. Uh, it's the easiest place to get into on game day for a noon game. So the crowd gets in a little earlier, it's a little dispersed and so, uh, you know, guys traveling, it's usually easier, 3.30 and beyond, but 
you know, I mean, we, we make we make the best of it regardless. And, and uh, I mean, we had a great weekend last weekend from a recruiting standpoint. Does your process change now that you have this this new place? Last year, I'm sure you came straight from the, the, the hotel, but seven o'clock game, do you guys come here first? Or no, no, it, everything's the same for us. Uh, and, and I tell you, they've done a nice job for us. And, you know, uh, I've got a, we do Tiger Walk and we go in. This is all the same for players. The difference is a little different for our staff. The guys who aren't at the hotel, because they will be over here for later games. Noon games, everybody just goes to the stadium. But right. later games, uh, we will have recruiting here, and then they'll transition over for the Tiger Walk. We've got a recruiting center, our old weight room. Uh, they've given us a good space there to, to have a place to go, because we don't, we don't have the West Zone anymore. And then uh, they made a place for our families. For me, I got, I got a, actually, it's a pretty nice little office over there, uh, you know, a place where I can meet with recruits because you know, used to I would be in my office and they would bring recruits in. Now I don't have that, so made a nice little office down there. It's, it's really a good setup. It is. So last week was the first time, and uh, we got to we got to live it a little while to to work out a few kinks here and there. But uh, you know, only and then and then post game uh, guys can come back over here. But it's great. This is this is a, a really great setup for us. Has Logan Rudolph showed you enough to think that he can go out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I mean, they, these guys. That's the thing. I mean, we we hadn't played an opponent, but but they're practicing against good people every day. I mean, he's out there going against you know Mitch and Ankrum and Pollard and all those cats. So, uh, I mean, that's that's why he's second team right now. I mean, because he's demonstrated that you know he he can he can go play. Uh, he's he's processed it really well. Uh, and then he played in, so it's it's been a little more natural for him. But yeah, he's he's got to be ready. Isaiah Simmons had a couple of really hard hits in the game on Saturday. Is that something you're pretty used to seeing from him in practice? Yeah, he's explosive. I mean, he is long and fast and, and you know, explosive power through the tackle. Uh, I've seen that a bunch in fall camp. He's, he is uh, a guy that likes it, and, and I think he's going to be a great player. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch him grow and mature. Coach, you obviously um, have a lot of respect for how good Auburn is uh, this season and, and also a lot last season when you played him. Uh, Pat Dye said a couple of weeks ago that it's the most talent he's ever seen on an Auburn team. Is, is that statement surprise you at all? <laughs> he, he'd know better than me. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've studied Auburn for years and years and gone against some, some great Auburn teams, that's for sure. Uh, obviously, won the national championship back in 10. That was a great team. But, you know, Coach Dye, he's – He's coached some. He's coached some great ones, so he would know. But I, I will, I let him be the judge on what who's better and all that. But I will say this: I agree with him that this is a great team. This is a very talented team. I mean, they they've got all the pieces. They get really good on defense, good in the trenches. They got depth. They got skill. They got a quarterback. They got a great kicker. Uh, you know, good coaches. So I mean, they've got they've got everything they need to to have an outstanding team and great season this year. Uh, so that's why I'm saying this is a. It's a really good opportunity for us early in the year, especially before you get into your conference play, uh, to, to see where you are. All set. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank Appreciate you. it.